why are as many females as males? Shouldn't it be more reproductively efficient if there were more females? It sounds logical, but evolutionarily it's not like that. The Fisher's principle is an evolutionary model that explains why a sex ratio is one to one between females and males in species that reproduce sexually. Assuming the energy effort spent producing both sexes is equal, suppose male births are less common than female. A newborn male then has better mating prospect than a newborn female, and therefore can expect to have more offspring. In that case, Parents genetically disposed to produce males tend to have more than average numbers of grandchildren born. As the one-to-one -one sex ratio is approached, the advantage associated with producting males dies away. The same reasoning holds if females are substituted for males in the beginning. Therefore one-to-one -one is the equilibrium ratio.